All right, look, I wanted to talk about something that I'm learning right now in my workshop. Well, not my workshop, but a workshop I'm taking uh, called Woke Up and Paid by Sam uh, Hydra. If I said his name right, I'm sorry if I messed it up, bro. So, <laughs> so anyways, so you got what's going on, JD? Anyways, guys, so you got to get like you guys have to learn this one thing. And this is something I'm learning right now. So I just wanted to share it with you guys about what's going on, Tavion. So, guys, like, you got to get rid of the old to get the new. And this could be so many different things. So, let me just not talk too much about it. But, like, getting rid of the old could be, for example, like, clothes that you have. Because everything in this world is energy, right? So, when you have a t-shirt that you wore whenever, you know, you was going through depression or something like that. You need to get rid of that type of stuff because when you wear it, it makes you feel some kind of way. And you guys know what I'm talking about whenever you're wearing something, you're just like, oh man, you know, like it gives you that flashback. They say, if you hold on, if you look at something for 10 seconds and you don't feel joy and you don't feel good about it, get rid of it, you know? Um, I can definitely tell you from this lesson, uh, from this training, one of the things I got rid of, I, I stopped smoking, y'all, I mean, I'm cool with it. I feel like my authentic self. Like, I actually don't feel bad about it. Like, I, I use it as a crutch. And, you know, as soon as I stopped doing that, I got a, you know, I, I, I got a job at a leasing place. But most people are going to be like, oh, fuck a job. Well, I mean, I get it. You know, I got a family to feed. But, like, it's not so much of a job. It's a job that's aligned with Plug Hub and what I'm able to do and what I'm able to bring. So I'm in a luxury high rise like in front of a one of the most expensive malls in North Dallas. So I had to get rid of the old to create the new. So a lot of my clothes that I didn't fit because I had lost some weight, I got rid of it because I didn't feel good when I was wearing my clothes. I felt sluggish, I felt like a bum. Like, you know, I just, it, 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 like, it messed up my whole self image. So once I got rid of that stuff, you know, I replaced it with like collar shirts, and like a little bit, you know, things that's a little bit more, you know, my style. Yeah, man. Thank you, JD. So another thing, you know, too, like the reason why it's important, because since it is energy, um, here's another example, like get rid of the furniture in your house. Like right now, like I got furniture that I want to get rid of. I got clothes I want to get rid of. Like I got friends, like if you get rid of friends or people in your life that aren't serving you, have y'all noticed that when you cut somebody off, somebody else appears almost instantly or at least a little bit afterwards. So, you know, getting rid of the old could be habits it can be you know bad bad habits like not working out or it could be you know like drinking being an alcoholic now of course don't get me wrong if you do it every day that's that's something but if you do it every once in a while that's okay you know don't get me wrong like i want to puff one every once in a while but like i don't want to do it every day every single second night and morning you know what I'm saying? so you know habits is something that you guys can get rid of um that can change because like they always say if you continue to do something that you've always done like you're always going to get what you've always got or something like that y'all know what i'm trying to say so guys you know that was my message of the day just continue to get things get rid of things in your life that's not serving you if it's not giving you power if it's not making you feel good if it's not making you feel great when you look at it for at least 10 seconds and it's not bringing you peace throw it away i got like a bunch of laundry that i got rid of and i still getting rid of a lot of other things um the kids toys they had too many toys that were hoarding all their toys and i'm like no nah, like let's just get rid of this and get you guys new stuff and i noticed instantly after i got rid of it um you know they felt they felt their their attitudes were different y'all can even see it in my face like i look different like i look like my old self you look at my old pictures like i'm, I'm glowing a little bit if you guys are in patch i can probably see my aura maybe so you know about me so what about you guys what are you guys looking to get rid of what are you guys or what have you got rid of in 2020 that made you feel better going into 2021 is it a relationship with a person not just a romantic relationship but a relationship like a business partner or a friend uh, did you get get rid of that job that wasn't serving you um, so you can go to a new job because it doesn't make sense like you just gotta let go the reason why, because when you hold on to something, it's it's resistant 
you know, energy, you're holding on to something. And like, if I'm trying to give you something in your hands, it's like this, you can't get it. Like you can't receive, you're not open. You have to open to receive, but the way you got to do, you got to let it go. If it's that job you don't like, or it's that, that, that partnership or that, that thing, whatever it is. I mean, I'm just thinking about just my own personal, um, you know, experiences, just let it go, be open to receiving. And when you're open to receiving, more things can come into your life. It's like they say when you hold water. If you hold water in your hand, you know what I'm saying? You can open it, but when you grip it, it all comes out of your hand and you just lose it all and you lose control. So that's my lesson to the day. Let me know. Comment. Let me know what else y'all want me to talk about. Like, I'm fired up. I'm energized. I got more energy than I ever had in the last couple of years. So I want to basically be able to inspire you guys, motivate you guys. This video is going on YouTube. Um... Also, for the people that do live in Dallas, I just came out with um, DFW Plugs and Connects. So basically, um, the, the thing with the Great Plug Network, yes, we all live in different areas. We all live on every single different inch of the world. But the problem is we all can't just meet up the way I want to. So I created a geographical location, which is I'm starting off in Dallas first. So if you guys are into vendor events, if you guys are into, you know, networking dinners if you guys are into doing activities like let's say we go you know like just as a trip we go on a field trip like well let's do this shit like we were kids again like you know i i may not have to get a school bus you never know um you know anything where we can get together you know take pictures have fun vibe like i'm looking to do that stuff again with you guys so please if you are not in there and you live in dallas fort worth join um, until then, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. Deuces. Love y'all.